guys, it's Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel. So you're probably wondering why I'm not wearing lipstick and why I look like a washed out ghost. And that is because today I'm going to show you how to apply lip scents. And I just became a distributor actually as of last night for lip scents. So I'm really excited to show you this product and I will show you how to apply it and some of the benefits of it. And um, yeah, so I'll put my link down below in case you would like to buy it from me with my distributor ID and I can explain more down below in the description box if you are interested in getting one for yourself. So let's go and apply this stuff. So first you're going to want to remove any of the product that you already have on your lips. So for example, I did my makeup already so I might have a little bit of excess foundation left on my lips. So I just like to take a little makeup wipe. This is Neutrogena and I'm just going to go over my lips with this. And this just ensures that the product is going to stick to your lips and adhere and it is not going to have any other product getting in the way. So as you can see, not a lot came off. But it is just a good idea that your lips are bare and have nothing on it, no chapstick, no anything, or the product will not adhere to it. So just showing you a little bit about the product itself, um, this is what it looks like. Oh, it's upside down. Um, and it just comes in this tube. And in your starter pack, um, you are going to get a color, a oops remover, and a gloss. So you put on the color, you're going to put on three coats, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And then the remover here is for any... Um, little mistakes you made maybe you went like too far outside the line because this stuff adheres so quickly um it's important to have this just in case if you need to fix something really quick before it sets in and then this gloss is going to be your best friend and I mean best friend I personally am not a gloss person and I know um if you've seen some of the pictures online, they look super duper glossy and it's important to know that it doesn't necessarily look like this on you if you don't want that. Um, I personally don't like it so I like to just rub it in a little bit more and it kind of gives it a satin finish. And there's also other glosses um, that you can check out. There's a matte one I know and I am excited to try that because I love a matte lip. The gloss um, you apply over your color like a million times a day just to get that moisture in because the product itself without the gloss is not going to feel like moisturizing or anything. It might feel a little bit dry and sticky so it's important to put on the gloss so you're hydrating your lips and um, keeping that product set in so that way when you eat, you drink, um, drink out of your coffee cup, there is not going to be any residue and it's not going to budge, it's not going to smear, it's not going to feather and I have had that problem for like the past two years or so and this stuff will not do that. So let's dig in and I'm going to show you how to apply your product. Okay, so I have the color Fly Girl here and this is just a really pretty darker red. So first you're going to shake it up and there's a little ball in there, kind of like, um, you know, a nail polish when you have to shake it up. Um, so first you're going to do that and you're going to make sure your lips are dry. First you're going to go and you're going to take the applicator out and you're going to wipe off, wipe off, excuse me, any additional product. So here you have it and we are going to go in with our first coat. And it's important to keep the lips apart while you're doing this whole process and to apply it in one direction. You can't go back and forth like you would with a regular lipstick because that's going to build up the product and kind of like clump it together a little bit. And I learned from experience because I'm used to doing that and I tried it with this product and it doesn't work very well. So go in one direction the whole time. So now I'm going to go into the top lip and apply the first coat. Now we're going to go in with the second coat. Okay. 
Okay, so now you have just applied your three coats in one direction, just like I showed you. And I like to do one side of the lip and then the other side versus one direction because that's just a little bit hard just because I like to perfect that Cupid's bow. So it's going to feel just a little bit sticky right now because it is freshly applied and um, you don't really want to touch your lips together like I just did. Um, and so you're going to put on your gloss next and that is really going to lock in that product. This has like shea butter and it's just going to be really, really nice and um, moisturizing on your lips and it's going to keep that color on all day. So let's put on the gloss. So there you have your application of Fly Girl. Just a quick overall reminder, you put on three coats, you put it on in one direction, make sure your lips are clean, and then really apply that gloss liberally, especially after you apply for the first time, and then just throughout the day, and um, also do this before you eat. Put on gloss before you eat. I know that sounds so weird because like why would you put on fresh glass before you're about to like take it off but with this that ensures that the food or like anything that might break down the product is going to seal it in and keep it there. So you're not going to have that weird like inner rim that is going to come off if you put the gloss on. So there you have my video on how to apply lip scents and I will link my Facebook page down below which will give you so much more information about lip scents and what colors it comes in and the glosses and how much it is and all of that and um, this video I just wanted to show you how to apply it because um, I know it can be kind of confusing there's a learning curve to it your first few times and then also to take this off um, the oops remover you could apply to the lips and then try to take it off from there but I um, like to use something just a little bit more powerful to get it off so you're not sitting there scrubbing for like hours. I use my cellar water. This is the Simple brand just with a cotton pad and I just soak it up there and I just go and take this off and it's really gentle and it's going to take that off seamlessly and that way you won't be like scrubbing and your lips are going to be sore or anything. And what's also a nice thing about this product is that it's actually exfoliating your lips while it is on. Um, it doesn't really sting or burn when you put it on. It will tingle just a little bit but that's just because your lips will not be used to that product yet but over time that will go away. I hope this really helped you to learn how to apply it and just a little bit about it and if you're interested check out my page down below like this video subscribe I will be posting more videos soon and some more with some lip scents once I get some more colors and let me know if you would like to get some for yourself okay that is all for now bye guys have a great day